When I first started at the DRC, I was scared to death because I thought, I can't do this. I'm probably going to fail. I had tried so many times to stay sober and clean, but I, it, I couldn't do it. I mean, I always failed. As I showed up every day, day after day, uh, to the program, I realized that um, I didn't know everything there was to know about recovery. Um, and more than that, um, what I did know, I had it applied into my life. I'd seen that, you know, they've been quite a few people there that completed it successfully at the time, whenever I was looking into it. And, you know, I know I, know I needed something extra like that to help in my life. So I was actually looking really forward to it, believe it or not. I think DRC has really taught me how to apply a lot of the, um, the um, uh, information that you get in rehabs or that you get in a recovery program and help me to apply it into my life to where that I'm living it and not just learning about it. It's just, it's, it's a fact that people are gonna die from, over, from drugs. They're trying to prevent you from having to. And that's, I've been one of the lucky ones. The Day Reporting Center has a lot they can offer. I think there's sometimes this idea that maybe we, we don't do enough or we do too little with them. Um, I think one of the things I love and appreciate about the DRC is that there's so many other components to it. There's employment, um, we do MRT, which is moral recognition therapy, um, we, we do community service, we do education therapy. Um, there's just so many pieces to making someone successful in their recovery. And statistically speaking, like there's a holistic model that goes along with that. And so I think, you know, it's not just the criminal piece, it's not just the legal piece, it's not just the educational piece, but it's all of them. I think these clients are proof that we can get to graduation a lot of different ways. Zach is slow and steady. Matt was quick and he hit the ground running. It doesn't matter what path you take to get to graduation, it just matters that you get there, that you get sobriety and that you get a second chance at life. I kept saying to myself, I'm gonna keep coming back. I kept coming back every single day and every day that I did come back, I was learning something every day. It's been a blessing, like honestly, if, if someone's struggling with addiction and they have an opportunity like this, I promise you it will change their life for the better. All they gotta do is show up and apply themselves keep an open mind and be honest, you know, and, and kind of stay humble. Um, just take it one day at a time, uh, you know, you got to work for this. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be hard and, it, you know, it's live. It's going to continue to be hard at times, you know, it's up and down. So, you know, if, if you fall, if you fail, uh, just get back up and keep pushing through. Uh, learn from your mistakes, you know, you, your growth is through, through your failure and stuff. I mean, you just got to keep pushing on. Uh, I say it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Oh, I, I believe that the tools are set in place for the clients here and that the staff work very hard um, to give the participants the tools necessary to be successful if they want to be. Um, you know, as long as the participants are willing to put in the work, we provide those resources for them. A rehab, it lasts for 28 days, maybe six months, and you do what you're supposed to do and then you leave and you're done. Um, you're not really graded. There's not a lot of real personal uh, contact. It's a lot of information and a lot of drug tests, it was for me. Um, the difference at DRC, um, the facilitators, they get to know you and you get to know them on a personal basis. And they look you in your eye and um, sort of like family because when you mess up, they don't just kick you out. Um, they want to know why and they want to remind you of why you said that you wasn't going to have that problem. And they're just going to get in there and toss around with you until you figure out you know, what, what the problem is and how to solve it. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that Lisa faced uh, coming into the Day Reporting Center is her um, ability to want to talk to employers about her past offenses. Um, she was scared of that process. Uh, she. Uh, didn't want to to go there. I wouldn't even go to an employer if I knew they did a background check. I just wouldn't pursue it. Um, but uh, with her insistence and practice and practice, um, 
I've been able to get a job and I've been completely honest about my background and um, it's working well. So I really am thankful for that program here. And I really feel at that point when she got that job and was willing to accept her past is when she started to, to make changes um, in her life and make progress here at the DRC. I think her ability to um, gain that job honestly uh, gave her the confidence and the ability in herself that she could move forward in her life and that her past wasn't going to define who she was. I mean, she challenges us every day um, because she's really smart and so she might want to look at it from another perspective. And so eventually um, it sinks in. I think she was very mistrusting at first. And um, once she began to trust us as staff, I think she really blossomed and she really grew. And the other girls look at her as a mentor and as a positive role model. And like I said, she can question me and make me even go and look it up and do more research so that I can come back to her with um, more answers to her questions. Over time, she, she started let, letting go of some of that resistance. She started letting that wall break down and she, she began trusting us. She began trusting the program and through that, I mean, she started making a lot better decisions with her recovery, with, with her own life. Um, she, she definitely has come a long way. I really believe that each person they have in place is a godsend. And I believe that without one of them, you know, the whole, the whole thing would have been a different experience. Everybody here, they have been exceptionally really nice and well and helped in every way possible. They have all, they have all probably been ready to kill me a few times too also, but we pulled through it and they, they really helped me. And I really appreciate all of them. Zach is, um, yeah, he's, he's definitely one of those that's very internal. I think one of the things I also appreciate about Zach is that he's just not given up. Um, he's had so many times where he's hit a wall and he's gotten discouraged and he's felt challenged, but he never gave up. And so I'm thrilled to see this him graduate. This is the one that he actually gets to be at for himself. I mean, this is huge for me. I mean, you know, this completely it is. I mean, I thought I've never done probation before and been able to complete anything successfully. You know, I knew it was going to be hard, but I had it in my mind I wanted to do it. You know, and I just kept working at it. He's really one that's like slow and steady wins the race. Um, he didn't go at anything in a rush, and um, he's really pretty quiet. But when he talks, his peers listen. Um, he has a, a quiet knowledge, I think, and he has a real steady and influence to the group. He began to reach out, make new peers as friends, um, bought into the program a little bit more, started applying it to himself a little bit more, and um, I think realizing he was done with his criminal career, that he wanted to be a law-abiding citizen. If I actually utilize you know, all this and use the tools and stuff that's here, then I can actually you know, have a really good chance of making it. These folks are not here to hurt you. They're not here to send you to the penitentiary. They're here to help you. You're not a bad person trying to get good. You're a sick person trying to get well. These folks, if it's one thing they understand, it's addiction. So Matt is one that we, we strive for. His happiness is contagious. His hard work is contagious. We would love to see all of our clients do that. You know, it gives us proof that what we've got is, you know, can work and that somebody can break away from that lifestyle. Not only their addiction, but the, the criminal part of their lifestyle. Phase one was like, okay, your, your brain is broken. What you've been doing ain't been working, bro, so it's time to fix it. That was phase one. Phase two was like, okay, you see some of the things, let's work on changing them. And phase three <laughs> is keeping it there. Um, I think Matt's excitement and, and charisma and, and positive attitude has, has been a joy to be able to work with him. Um, and through all that, I've, I've just seen him grow so much. He came out of jail with a job, and he's worked that same job the whole time. And so now he's going to be management in that job, and he has a work ethic like nobody I've ever seen. These guys here, they give me tools, man, and I use them, I utilize them. And not only <clears throat> for my recovery, but in life. Pretty amazing. Um, he's, I think, got the ability to go wherever he wants in life. 
I've managed to obtain my driver's license. I'm now GM certified and I'm graduating the DRC. Like all the goals that I set out to achieve, I've got them, you know? And without these folks here, without that one opportunity from the judge, I don't know where I would be right now. They showed me that my, my way of living wasn't, you know, the, the only way of living, that I can have a happier life being clean and sober. I've, I've loved working with Tabitha. She had so much enthusiasm and motivation when she first came, and I think there were some questions because she had been on different programs before, maybe weren't as successful, so, uh, but once she came here, I really felt like she was dedicated. I think that she put all her effort into it. I'm proud of myself um, because at first I didn't think that I could do the program. Um, but I'm, I, want, I mean, I pat myself on the back every now and then and tell myself how proud I am that they've helped me, but I've done it too. You know, it was, if it wasn't the hard work I put in, I couldn't have completed it either. She had decided in jail that she didn't want this, this life anymore. And so she came out with a positive attitude and she has worked her tail off. Tabitha's everybody's cheerleader. She, um, brand new people, she wants to lift them up. And not that she hangs out with them, but she wants them to know that, hey, I'm here for you. I've been through it and I'm here for you. And I, I'd like to think that in her alumni group that she'll come back and help us. We can, um, I think we can use our positive reinforcement to the clients. I want to go out and help other people that has in the same situation that I am, that I've been in and that, I'm, that I have went through and let them know that it's okay and, and it's okay to ask for help because that was my biggest problem. I was always scared at the beginning to ask for help, but to let them know it's okay to ask for help and they can do it, just take one day at a time. I guess if I could just drum up the DRC experience, it's just something I wish we all had to do. Uh, it's become um, a really important part of my life. It's changed things for me. Nothing in life worth having is easy. You gotta work for it, you gotta earn it. And these folks will hold you accountable for your actions. You know, and that's something that we all need to be held accountable. Thank you for not giving up on me, having faith in me, and always giving me those encouraging words. Just keep an open mind and be trustworthy and be honest with yourself and the staff here. But and just learn from your mistakes. I'm very proud of them. They've come so far. I've seen good times and bad times with them. I would love to see them continue those good times. My hope is that they continue to stay smart in their recovery, um, continue to make the good choices that they know to make. And for them not to forget that you know this isn't the this isn't the end of the road that there's still going to be challenges they're going to have to face and that you know if they do need help along the way that they can reach out and have those resources for them it is a long process and a lot of them have some hiccups but um, to see them actually complete those goals that they set for themselves and then get ready to go on and just be on regular probation and see us once a week. It's good to see. The DRC has given me another chance at life and to live, live healthy and maintain everything that I've always wanted and uh, it's helped me to make smaller goals to help achieve my larger ones. It's given me another shot at life. The DRC has given me gratitude, you know, like I'm thankful for where I am today. My sobriety and they've, they gave me knowledge and it's really assisted me in my journey. DRC has given me hope and know that I can fulfill all my dreams. The DRC has given me opportunity to live my life, be happy, to have peace.